Needles and syringes are essential medical tools used for administering medications, drawing blood or delivering fluids into the body. They come in various types and sizes tailored for different medical procedures. The right needle size for your injections depends on how much medications you need, your body size and whether the drug has to go into a muscle or under the skin. Your syringes also has to be big enough to hold the right dose but not so big that it makes measuring small amounts difficult. Not only having the correct needle and syringes for you help ensure to get the correct amount of medication. It will also make injections easier and less painful. Let's look at anatomy of syringe. A syringe typically consists of barrel, plunger and needle. A needle is protected with a needle cap. The barrel holds the medication. Here you can see the graduations which indicates the volume of the syringe. The plunger is used to push or withdraw the liquid and the needle which is used for injection or extraction. The syringes may vary in size, material and design depending upon their intended use. If we zoom out the tip of the needle, you can see bevel here. This is the open area of the needle. Inside the needle, there is a hollow area called lumen and this area of the needle is called the shaft of the needle. At the tip of the plunger, you can see the rubber stopper and over the plunger, there is thumb rest and finger flange. We are placing our thumb while using the syringe over this thumb rest and while using the syringe we are placing our finger over the finger flange. Syringe sizes. Syringes can be measured in ml for liquids, cubic centimeters for volume of solids. If we are supposed to give injection of 3 cc then we need to select a syringe that holds exactly 3 cc or just a little more. If we use a syringe that can hold only 2 cc, then you will have to inch it more than once using a brand new syringe and needle each time. So in order to give 3 cc of drugs, we can use 5 cc syringe. Needle sizes. Needle size is determined by two numbers. First number with the letter G indicates the bulge of the needle and the second number indicates length of needle in inches. Bulge of the needle indicates thickness of the needle. The higher the bulge, the thinner the needle will be. As we move from 14 gauge to 27 gauge, 27 gauge needle is the thinnest needle among this. That means the gauge of the needle and thickness of the needle are inversely proportional. Longer needles are often thicker to maintain structural integrity and prevent bending or breaking during insertion into deeper tissues, especially in IM injections. Thicker needles provide better stability and durability when penetrating through muscle tissue or other dense materials reducing risk of needle bending or fracturing within the body. Additionally, the thickness or gauge of the needle affects the flow rate of medication. Thicker needles have a large internal diameter allowing for faster medication delivery which is important for substances that may be viscous or require quick administration. Ultimately, the length and thickness of needle are often chosen based upon the depth of injection site and viscosity of the medication being administered. Here you can see the needle size. The first number 18. It is indicates the gauge or thickness of the needle. It is an 18 gauge needle. And 4.5 inch is the length of the needle. Standard hypodermic needles. They are most common needles and come in various lengths and gauges for different types of injections. They are used for intramuscular, subcutaneous, and intradermal injections. 
insulin syringes are specifically designed for administering insulin. These syringes have a finer gauge 28 to 31 and are calibrated in units appropriate for insulin dosage. Tuberculin syringes are smaller in size, calibrated in tenth of a milliliter and primarily used for tuberculin skin testers or allergen immunotherapy. Spinal needles are longer and thicker needles designed for spinal injections such as spinal anesthesia or lumbar punctures. Epidural needles similar to spinal needles and are designed for epidural injections used for pain management during childbirth or for chronic pain relief. For intramuscular injections, needles typically ranges from 1 to 1.5 inches in length and 22 to 25 goes in diameter. The specific size chosen depends on various factors including patient's age, muscle mass and the viscosity of the medication being administered. Intravenous injections typically use smaller gauge needles due to the delicate nature of veins. Needles for IV injections are generally thinner to minimize discomfort and reduce risk of damage in the vein walls. They usually range from 24 to 26 gauge, which provide a balance between ease of insertion and maintaining integrity of vein during administration. Subcutaneous injections use shorter and thinner needles to inject medications into the layer of fat just below the skin. Needle length for subcutaneous injection typically ranges from 3 by 8 to 5 by 8 inches, while the gauge usually varies from 25 to 30. These smaller and finer needles minimize pain and tissue damage while effectively delivering the medication beneath the skin surface. Intradermal needles are specifically designed for intradermal injections where medication is administered just below the surface of the skin into the dermis layer. These needles are very fine and short, typically around 15 mm in length and 26 to 27 gauge in diameter. 